The Silesian and rugby team came into the season with very high expectations. The team is ready to start fresh after a disappointing end of their 15s and 7 seasons last year. The team developed a new playing style that was mirrored after the famous New Zealand All Blacks. Last year we were more focused on passing the ball from person to person instead of really a forward progression. But this year we slowed it down and we were looking for strategic opportunities to score. And I think that was very difficult at first for most of us because uh, we, were, we weren't ready for that transition, but honestly I think we accomplished that by looking at the end of the season and all of our success. Their first action in the season came against LaSalle College High School, which the team won in a very contested match. The next time the team played was against St. Joe's Prep, which was ranked in the top 60 in the country this year. Sadly, they ended up losing that game, but this was their first true test of the season. Sadly, on March 12, 2016, tragedy struck very close to home. Tyler Brown, a senior on the team and two-year varsity player, was involved in a car accident in which he passed away. The entire school community grieved the loss of their brother, and it was very hard for everyone to continue with normal life in the days following this tragedy. I definitely think that there was, there was motivation going into games. Uh, you know, more of a reason to play, more of a reason to win than before, than other seasons. The team mourned the loss of their fallen brother on the field in their next game against Loyola Blakefield High School. The game was played on the Lower Kenny Fields at Silesian. It was the first time the rugby team played on the grounds of the school since 2012. A majority of the school body showed up to support the team and to support the Brown family. This match was a very, very close game and it came down until the end. The final score of the game was 31 to 21 in favor of Silesian. We did play all right that game. The first half was a little iffy, but we came back and won it. And it was nice just having everyone come out because rugby normally doesn't get any type of turnout whatsoever. It's so far away. Over spring break, the rugby team traveled to Ireland and played three matches against top competition in the country. This was the first time a Silesian sports team has gone international in the history of the school. The team traveled to Dublin, Galway, and Limerick before returning to Dublin before their flight home to the United States. In Ireland, the team learned how rugby was supposed to be played. The intensity level between American rugby and Irish rugby was eye-opening for the team. On the third team, they were definitely a good team. They, they showed us what a real rugby looked like for the first time ever. After the team returned from Ireland, they had four league games in two weeks. With such little time to recover in between games, many players who were nursing injuries had to sit out a game or two. The team finished the 15's regular season with a record of 3-4, and four, losing tough games to Gonzaga College High School, the number two team in the country, and Georgetown Prep, the number 11 team in the country. Both seasons were about the same in records. Uh, we've learned a lot since last year, and uh, I think that's definitely shows in the way that we changed our play style up. Many people don't understand how demanding of a sport of rugby is and the physical impact it has on the body. There's a lot of effort going into playing rugby. I mean, from preseason, all those workouts we did, I think coming together and practicing every week, uh, it's a really big bond because you hit each other so much and it's so much stamina and relentlessness. Rugby is a very unglamorous sport. It doesn't get the same attention that the football or basketball team does, but they work equally as hard. To put the game in perspective for people on the fence about coming to watch or playing, it is a mix of football and soccer without pads. It is a very fast-paced game, and it does not stop as much as football, which allows for constant action with little breaks. I'd love for anybody that wants to play to come out, and uh, I think anybody would have fun playing. It's just, it's a fun sport, you know? And uh, it grows, it grows on you. At first it's hard because there's a lot of endurance that goes into it and you gotta, you have to build up your endurance. But after that, I mean, it's fun, you know, honestly. The Delaware playoffs included a seven state championship this year and for the first time a 15 state championship deemed the Tyler Brown Memorial Cup. Sadly, both championships did not result in the way the team wanted them to. Both those games, it's not fun, especially when you lose to Archmere. Overall, the season as a whole was very successful for the team. 
They learned many new things and paved the way for underclassmen to be very good in the near future. The seniors and captains left a very strong impact for the juniors of this year to become strong leaders next year. The future is very bright for Silesian and Levy. A lot of heart, a lot of uh, good leadership. Even though Dylan wasn't a captain, I definitely saw him as someone somewhat of a leader. And I encouraged Peter and Merrick and uh, Liam McCauley. They're all, def they're all good captains. I want to follow in their footsteps. Reporting for WSAL, Jacob Peterman.